Hi everyone, this is Shruti Kano and welcome back to my channel Shruti Vars. I hope you all are doing good and आप लोगों को देखकर लग रहा होगा अपनी माइक हाथ पे पकड़ के बात कर रही है. This is for the uh, betterment of the voice, like the voice issue बहुत जो आ रहा था background noise. I am trying to avoid it. So let's get straight to the video. आज की video है TIF for exam के ऊपर, which is JGWBILS exam. This exam is held for admission in integrated PhD or PhD at Tata Institutes such as TIFR Mumbai, TIFR Bangalore, TIFR Hyderabad and uh, other ISAs are also included. I will just attach the list of the participating uh, institutes here on the screen. Now if I start about the exam, the duration of the exam is 3 hours and basically there are two sections. Section 1 is MCQ section and section 2 is subjective assessment where is uh, there is long questions, uh, we have to answer that. For MCQ section there are basically four main sections divided into two subcategories each. First section is general aptitude which is having uh, two sections which is section A and section B. Similarly, chemistry, physics and biology all have two sections, section A and section B. In section A there are 10 questions, in section B there are 5 questions in every part or every section. Now, for every correct answer in section A, we get 1 mark. For every uh, correct answer in section B, we get 2 marks and of course, for incorrect answers, marks are deducted, there is a negative marking, but if we don't attempt a particular question, it will be marked 0. Next, if we move forward to the subjective assessment part, which is the long question answer part, which started from last year, which is from December 2024 exam, where we have been given three sections or three questions to attempt. In section A, we have three questions from which we should answer only one. Section B and section C contain one question each and both of them are very much compulsory to attend. Let me uh, tell you this thing that only the MCQ part is required for the scoring purpose and the subjective assessment is not included in scoring but it's important for the interview part so i would suggest you guys to have something in mind regarding to your research that, that is in which field you want to do research or you want to do your phd you should have a certain idea and how can you bring some change with that uh, research or with that topic of interest you should have an idea what do you think it's kind of a a, a SOP which is required after the exam if you clear the um, what uh, cutoff. Next, so if we talk about the syllabus of this exam, there is no particular syllabus visible on the website but the exam syllabus is quite similar to IIT JAM syllabus except that IIT JAM has maths as well. It only contains physics, chemistry and biology and some general aptitude part. Now how to prepare for it? Just go for IIT JAM kind of preparation but keep in mind the questions will be very much analytical, very much experimental questions and very much based on assertion and reasoning. So you should have an in-depth idea for this exam. Even for chemistry and physics you should be a plus one level from IIT JAM exam. So I hope you have no queries further. So next part is eligibility. This particular exam is held for all other subjects such as chemistry, physics, mathematics, computer science and biology. Now if I talk about biology specifically, if you want to do PhD, you should have a master's degree which is a three year, uh, two year course and or you can have a five year degree which is MBBS or related field. If you want to do integrated PhD, you should have completed bachelors in any of the subjects like biology, chemistry, physics, maths, computer science or you could also have done masters but if you want to opt for integrated PhD, you are allowed to do so. So basically the exam is held on December month and the application process must start from August to September or October window. You can just check the website for that uh, 
information i will uh, just add the link of the website in the description of this video if you have any further doubts from this exam please feel free to ask in the comment section and if you like this video please do share and like and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye bye